Hey everyone and welcome back to Fire by Nature and today we are going to do my Maryland Spin Wool vlog. I mean haul. And yes, it has been quite a while since that happened. Um but better late than never. So here we go. So first off, I won two awards, if you didn't see on my Maryland Spin Wool vlog. And the they both won second place second place, which I'm super happy about, and one actually uh, got a purple ribbon for the best spindle spun junior yarn. So that was cool, and this one is a um, Cotswold fleece that I carded myself, and this one was um, some top from Paradise Fibers, and I love how they both came out, so that was fun. And then next off, my first purchase was this pineapple fiber from Federbrook Farm. And it's different from what we've done here on the channel um, because it's been processed into a top. So that is um, what that looks like. So I'm very excited to use this. Next off, we have my purchases from Green Goat Ranch Farm. First thing is the are these beautiful locks. They're Wensley Dill Long Wool Locks. And they're in the colorway of Spearmint. Uh, it's a bunch of shades of green and um, they're going to be really fun to work with, and I can't wait to see what I'm going to make with these. Next, we have um, this spinning kit, which Sarah was very nice enough to give me, and um, she has included um, a little mini bat um, some dyed locks and a braid of dyed roving, which I can't wait to use. Then we have some hand dyed bamboo um, in four different colors. So we have green, blue, blue gray, and then brown. Um, so these are going to be really fun to blend into some stuff that I have. Not quite sure what I'm gonna blend it with yet, but we shall see. Next up, I got two tools. So one tool is this um, Navajo weaving comb, and you use this to beat down the threads, um, beat down the weft threads. So that's cool. And then I got this Turkish spindle. It's just a small, lovely little spindle. Um, and what's cool about it is the way you wind it on these um, shafts here, I guess you could call them, is once you take it off, like so, and take these out, it automatically creates a ball. So that will be really fun to play around with. And maybe we'll even spin some of the fiber. Next, I got some, what is this? Shetland, and it's a bit coarse, but um, I kind of like it like that. It's not too coarse, but it's a little hairy, I guess you could say. Um, it's this lovely natural gray color, and it is a shave and save and breed, which basically means that it is um, an endangered species of sheep. Um, and each time you buy something that is shave them to save them, they give you a sticker which you put into a fiber passport, which um, I have. So that is cool. Um, link in the description if you want to learn more about shave them to save them. And um, they're really cool. So next up, we have some silk cocoons. So these you use for reeling. So this is what silk comes from. Each silkworm winds one of these cocoons. 
Each cocoon is one unbroken filament, which is about one kilometer per cocoon. So these will be really fun to experiment with. And these are from Shady Side Fibers. Next up, we have a silk pern. Um, so if you don't know what these are, these are basically what the old type of like flying shuttle looms used to use. So this is the bobbin that would go on the shuttle. And instead of the usual shuttle that comes out like this, the reason why it is like this at one end is because it comes off the end like that. So this is some really nice burgundy silk that is wound on to here, which I hope to use in a scarf made with this. So this is some mocha silk. Um, and it's not like the silk you would imagine. It has, it's a bit like actually bumpy and not that sh um, shiny kind of silky sheen you would associate silk with. If you can see, there's like little bumps and stuff in it. So that is cool. So. I hope to make a scarf with these. Um, I bought two cones of the of this, so um, I hope that that will be enough. And then, um, what's next? I got some bison down. So this is a hundred percent bison down, half an ounce, um, and bison down is very expensive. So I only got half an ounce of this. Um, and I've never spun bison before, so this will be a really fun experiment to play around with. So that's that. Um, so that's all I got. Um, I can't wait to play around with all these new fiber goodies. And I hope you enjoyed this little haul video that I just made. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.